So I braided my whole hair down, nice little part in the middle, um, and to make these shorter, see, I just took this braid and I went like this, and I took a rubber band. Make sure to seal your ends really well. And you just do it a couple times. You don't, you don't have to do it, but um, to the ones that are going to be shorter anyway, but I'm just doing it so in case I burn cut whatever I'm doing. I don't have to worry about it. Okay. I took about, what, four packs of this hair. It was on sale too. So I did about four packs for this style. And it just depends on the size of the thickness that you would like. I wanted mine a little bit chunkier. So yeah, I just try it out. I usually try it out in the back first, you know, because you can, that's more of the experimental area when you're doing your hair. So I took my crochet tool and I just crocheted it in. For the top, I didn't have to make it shorter because it was gonna be long anyway, but it was good to fold it for the bottom ones. Yeah, so crochet it in, hook the hair, and pull it through. And be gentle because it can come off a little tight when you close it. And through that hole, you just take one of the pieces and you pull it through and you create a knot. And so then I took more hair to make it thicker and so I can use it to hide the braid, which you'll see in a second. I love using this kind of hair because I feel it's it looks way more authentic. So you just take that hair and you put it on the top and you braid it. I did it about once, twice, and then I started twisting it. So I'm taking my braid and I'm taking the Kanekalon hair, or the Rasta hair, excuse me, and I'm covering my braid. And then I'm twisting it and so you can just move it around and you know you can hide it and just tuck it in more as much as possible so you would just take that and you would fold it halfway or however much a quarter of the way it's kind of a hand manipulation thing and you can twist the fake hair around that braid kind of and then twist it down y'all know what I mean it's hard to explain but it took me a while to get it for sure and I don't mind that the fact that my braid is kind of poking out. That doesn't really bother me. I actually went back at the end and I just covered it. You know, I moved the twist around and just made it thicker in some areas so it can hide the braid.
so I just cut it here. I cut it even a little bit longer because I'm going to burn it and that's gonna take off some length as well. But burning it, putting the foam on your hair and dunking it in hot water is what solidifies the style. And actually, the presentation at the end, my hair will have already been that way for at least a week because I was just running out of time. I couldn't um, record the end because I like to record it during, you know, the daylight when things are popping. So yeah, um, so just be careful when you burn it. <laughs> I definitely burn my finger finger pads pretty pretty nicely, so just be careful. But the styling cream gel I would use a gel at the ends it really really helps solidify it it also gives a nice little shine which I personally liked dunked it in hot water and this style is going to hold for a while so you can just use some mousse to lay it down and this is how I refresh my hair too whenever I feel as if it's not as cute as I want it to be or I want it to be a little bit more polished because I love the look after a while as well but if I wanted to refresh it I would just put more mousse I would put more edge control and I would dunk it in hot water again. You could probably have this style depending on just really how you want, how long you want. You could probably have it for at least a month, I think. And you could wash it as well. Um, just wash the scalp however you wash braids usually. You can use a spray bottle too. So yeah, but the presentation, <laughs> you know we like to wrap it up. Thank you for watching. Put some more hair growth oil. You know how I like to do with the presentation. But this is a week later, okay? Okay.